Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for a Capricorn. How are you guys this week? I'm going to try to keep these a little shorter. 30 minutes max, hopefully. But sometimes it's hard. you got to just go with it, you know? All right, Capricorn. Short and sweet. Who's interested in you and coming your way? Capricorn, who's interested in you? Coming your way. Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, so three of cups. Oh, someone in your social circle, online dating, social media. This is definitely someone determined to have success. <laughs> someone who's not ruled by their emotions, though. So this is a nice energy. Yeah, you could meet this person through friends or family, anywhere in your community. So there's good news. Beautiful. Something you've been waiting for. <laughs> nice. And we have a page of cups. Yeah, this is someone controlling their emotions. Okay. So they are a little apprehensive. They're maybe a little shy at first, too. They don't like to lose control of their emotions. So, yeah, they kind of keep their feelings to themselves. This could be someone, I'm going to be honest, somebody who kind of keeps you waiting a little bit. Okay. They might... Like I say, they could be kind of late sometime. They have little excuses why. <laughs> it, I see positive energy, though. Page of Cups isn't always negative. It's sometimes just a person who's just started. They're not sure where this is going to go. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, there's the world. It has to do with change. We have the Empress, yeah. Some of you have definitely gone through change. Some of you could be moving away from someone too. Maybe even if you're if you are relocating or you're going someplace to see some friends, you could meet someone. So whatever it is you're waiting for, it looks like it's coming your way. See that beautiful birth of something new. Capricorn, yeah. Tempering the passions, tempering the emotions. See, this is someone who's trying to temper everything to be just kind of patient we know the empress is very patient within reason in a balanced way yeah sag energy taurus libra and cancer somebody definitely with cancer energy so someone who's been kind of looking out there could be someone who's moved away from some somebody too. Yeah, they've been checking you out. This is often a person who takes a little pause, a moment of inner reflection. You may be different than the usual type. So, so I think you're a little different. <laughs> Something different about you, okay? Or about them. But yeah, I, I feel they're a little bit apprehensive. And I feel it's just... Somebody who's likely going to just want to go for a cup of coffee, things like that. It'll be pretty simple. But there's likely, this person likely won't have a whole lot to say. Um, we'll see. Sometimes it's just a person who doesn't really have a whole lot to say at first. Yeah, so there it is. Someone in your community, your neighborhood. Could be someone who drives by your house every day. And no, I don't see a stalker. It's just... Someone who lives close by in your community. Yeah. Well, they probably just live on your street or somewhere, I don't know, someplace close by. But I see a reason to celebrate, so it's very positive. Yeah, there's the, the chariot. This is, you drive by each other's homes, do you? <laughs> Have you been waiting for this person to maybe reach out, or are they waiting for you? It's possible they're waiting for you. Mm hmm. Tell me about the three of wands. Yeah, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer. It's, could be yourself, could be them, but it's an energy of somebody who knows what they want. See, so it looks like some of you you've moved or relocated. There's something to do with this chariot taking your power back or just taking control. Yeah. See, what it's telling me is they're a little shy. So I feel you're going to kind of take control of this. <laughs> I do. 
nothing wrong with that. The Empress often reaches out. And the Empress isn't someone, it's not chasing to reach out. Chasing is when you keep chasing after somebody who's ignoring you. Um, you know, you go everywhere they go and you, you know, you try to hook up with them. You keep messaging them. You keep, you know, that's chasing, right? And there's different ways, forms of chasing. Some of it turns into obsession, uh, but other times it's just people who aren't going to give up. So like I say, with the Empress, it's always balanced. So yeah, you know what you want, you're not settling, but I see you looking at this person. I feel like you're going to take control of this. You're not going to sit and wait because <laughs> you're not going to be patient here. Yeah, so they could have some Taurus. This is how this person conducts themselves, see? You, I, I feel like you're going to get this, Capricorn. I feel you're going to take the lead. I feel like this, yeah, I feel this is someone who's, you know, like I say, you're trying, you're trying something different, I feel. Very, and they are different than the usual type. They're a little shy, but they're emotional. I actually feel, I don't feel like they're immature or anything. I feel they just, they're, it's a habit. It's the way they are. They're just shy at first. This person doesn't have a lot of faith in themselves, right? That they'll actually have success with you. But yeah, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I see a party, a celebration, a get together. You could be with friends at their home and this person comes there, you know. But I feel you're going to take the lead. You're the one who's going to strike up a conversation or something here. So, yeah, it's a choice in love here. See, this is the path to love. So this is about building two people, building each other up. You see, you're going to, um, it's an energy where this person lacks faith in themselves. Okay. There's definitely a, a physical attraction. It feels mutual. So I feel like you're going to just build them up a bit. You see? So they have more faith. Because I, I, you're looking at them. There's something about them. I do see a little Gemini, Taurus, um, I'm not really seeing a lot of Taurus energy here, um, where they're um, a Taurus. I'm seeing more Cancer. Okay. Yeah, the lovers, little Gemini energy. Let's have a look at the world. Yeah, see, it's an energy of rushing into things and rushing out. So definitely look at it first. Okay. Now this could be someone who's just checking out how you conduct yourself. Maybe they see you as someone who's, you know, takes the lead. <laughs> oh. I find this fascinating and I feel too. This is someone who's you know, pretty charming and enthusiastic, but they are a little bit of a runner. Doesn't mean they're going to rush in and out, but it's telling you to be patient. Don't rush, don't push. Okay, so... Take a little pause and see it from their perspective, how they might feel, okay? They could be old school rules where it's just like they're not quite ready, you know? If you pressure them, they might kind of, you know, um, take off, but it doesn't, but they will come back. They will with the world there, absolutely. Yeah. Interesting, this person, yeah? So they are kind of old school rules. They want to be the one to take the lead. If you take the read, Lead. They could be a little fickle that way. A lot of people who have that old school, like, you know, this is something I got to do, but I'm not quite ready. They're a bit shy. It's likely something this person struggles with, but we'll see. But yeah, I, I feel it's telling you to look at it from their perspective because I feel like you, it's like you don't want to be patient. You see, you don't want to wait. And when you have to wait, you start to lose patience. So yeah, and this is a person who chooses when they're ready. And that's a Sag energy, so I'm pretty sure that's not yourself. And it could be too. Like I say, you may have dealt with someone in that energy before. So, yeah, let's have a look at the Empress. There's nothing wrong with taking the lead, but definitely don't put on it. Don't pressure them in any way. Yeah, see, it's about building, putting in the effort, putting in the work, perfecting your craft and skills here. This could be somebody in the workplace too. Yeah, this is energy of partnering up. It takes two people. See, it takes two. So like I say, if you pressure this person too much and they, they back off a bit, they take off, they will come back and put in the effort, but don't pressure them, okay? Let them kind of... Let them do that little bit of inner work there because I do feel this is someone who 
kind of takes that pause and they kind of go within here and try to see things from a different perspective. So interesting. It looks like a little vice versa. I always get that vice versa and I'm getting it a lot. The hangman just seems to be the card of the last couple of weeks here, but there it is, not budging, not giving in, you see, until they put in the effort. So yeah, so someone taking stock of their life too. Like I feel they're kind of in protective mode. Keeping things close to their chest. Yeah. That's often a person who watches from a distance a little bit. They hold back and watch from a distance. But they are, I do feel, they could have a little stubbornness. They could be a little stubborn. Okay. So if you pressure them, <laughs> you probably won't get what you want. Interesting. Yeah. So there it is. Two people seeing things from each other's perspective. I feel like you're going to see eye to eye. I think you're going to be on the same page. Here. If you have a choice between two, which I do see, some of you are moving away from someone, but I do see a party, a celebration. Some This person wants to invite you somewhere. They want to invite, or maybe they're hoping you will. Maybe they're hoping you'll invite them. <laughs> uh, to something. Because I do see a, a get together with family, friends, something in your neighborhood, a celebration or a party, be anything, be a backyard barbecue. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's have a look at this night. Uh, the wands. Yeah, taming the beast. See, this person's taming the beast within themselves. See, they have to also not uh, take off. So you see that? This is both of you kind of, it's like you're both going to change your perspective as how to handle this situation. See, there they are being more confident about how they feel. So it's about just being patient with this person, maybe building them up a little, give them a little attention, but don't push because they will run, but they will come back. And I do feel they'll be confident even if they do. So there's nothing really to worry about. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely, like I say, they'll approach you when they're ready. Um, it's also an energy of taking it to the next level. This person maybe struggles that way, but this is their own life path, right? Now, it does look with the Empress that you have a choice possibly between two, okay? So I do see some strong Cancer Pisces energy. I see a little bit of Leo and a little Sag. Some Gemini and Taurus. Yeah, so I said Gemini and Taurus. Well, so you're getting the Page of Cups. Yeah, a little shy or apprehensive. But it, I, like I say, sometimes people just get into a habit. Um, so I feel like a change. This person's going to go through this change, okay? Um, but like I say, some of you might just move on and choose another person. It's possible too. Like you might... Um, I feel you're going to start something or it's just telling you um, to be patient. Let this person gain the confidence. They are mature. They know what they want. You see, like I say, I didn't feel like they're immature. I feel like they're uh, educated. Uh, they just have their own habits, the way they go about things. They don't necessarily follow society's rules, you know, but um, I feel they actually do. I feel they're a little fickle. <laughs> I feel like it's important, okay, that they be the one. Um, just I, It's sort of like um, just being mature about it, you know. It's just the way they are. They just like to be the one. So, yeah, so maybe, maybe it isn't that they want you to, okay, approach them. As we know, the Queen of Wands can be pretty fiery, pretty passionate, Someone who's blunt and just kind of goes after things they want. So maybe that's not the best approach. Okay. So take some time to look at it. Depends on your person. It could go exactly the opposite way. And I hate telling people that because it's contradictory. But I see two different, um, two different kinds of people. They're similar. They're emotional. Same signs, but they're a little different. Okay. One of them doesn't care if you... Uh, approach them the other one's a little bit fickle about it <laughs> yeah they like to kind of just be the one to take that lead is what i feel so just let them yeah 
you can just wait and kind of wait and see a little bit. If they don't, you can try and be with the Empress, do it in a balanced manner, be a little subtle. See, this is the mystery of the Empress, see, not taking the lead, being um, being mysterious so that they want to uh, approach, you see. Just trust your intuition. It's going to guide you. It's going to guide you. You're going to know. It all depends on the person. So I feel once you know everything you need to know, after a conversation here, I feel like it'll be pretty... I think you're going to see eye to eye. You'll see things from each other's perspective. I feel like, you know, it's possible too. Something's happened to this way and this person ran away. Um, maybe, you, you know, you moved a little quickly here. Some of you may have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart. I definitely can see it. But I see this person having a little Leo in their chart, but being possible Cancer or Pisces. So maybe Scorpio. Yeah, see, there it is, the opportunity. They need to be the one to put their best foot forward. See, they're going to, this is the energy of not budging, not giving in. And that could be yourself. Like I say, maybe you're not budging, you're not giving in, you're not making the first move. Maybe it's telling you that maybe you should. <laughs> I know it's contradictory. It's, I'm telling you, it's tough sometimes. But I feel like you have a person in here who is confident enough to approach you. Do you want to go for a drink? Let's go, you know, go sit and have a chat, whatever it is. But they're going to, you know, they want to start things off right. You see, they're building the foundation by talking. Maybe they just want to be friends first. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Let's see what that's about. And it's possible this person's, literally, they could have a choice. They may be moving away from somebody who is the Queen of Wands and coming towards you. So let's have a look at this Queen of Wands. Yeah, so justice and balance, being fair. It's about doing things fair, uh, doing things the right way, uh, coming in right. So it's energy of maybe, <laughs> and it's possible this, like I say, it could even be another person where they're not right for them. Okay. This is interesting. But, you know, the justice, you know, with that uh, Queen of Wands tells, definitely tells me uh, it has to do with being fair, being balanced, coming in right. See? And we have a Gemini. Now, it's interesting, Gemini, Taurus, and Libra. Now, one thing I know about Geminis, Geminis often like to be the one to um, do the approaching. They like to, okay? Because it, it's just, I don't know, you know especially um, old school, and I can see old school here. So there's definitely something to do with the physical attraction. So watch, don't come on too strong to this person. If it is yourself, if you're deciding to take the lead, just don't come on too strong. <laughs> yeah, I just get this vibe here that uh, they're uh, kind of funny about that. But I, I, you know, like, or they're just shy and it just takes them a minute to feel confident, you know. Let's have another look. Tell me more about this king. Yeah, see the truth, the aha moment. They'll tell you. They'll tell you. So it is an energy where they do want success, victory, and they'll tell you the truth. They could be married to someone else. <laughs> tell me about justice. Yeah, the devil. So this is somebody who's probably had an unhealthy relationship. So there's some kind of obsession with someone who's not right for them. Okay, look at that Capricorn, that's your energy. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like a Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, hmm, yeah, so it's an energy of walking away. So this is somebody who's walked away from someone, they're searching, they're leaving this behind, it was unhealthy. So now this person could actually be a little bit obsessed with you it's possible, like I say, so it makes them even a little more shy. 
Uh, they're crazy about you, but it looks like they've left somebody behind here and they're searching. They're searching for their soulmate. There it is. I'm saying somebody's been looking for something here. Yeah, see, they're a little sad leaving this energy behind something that isn't long term. They didn't see this going anywhere. So this is why I feel it's an energy of moving on. So I guess that's not your energy. It's another person, uh, an unhealthy situation. So they're definitely going to tell you the truth. You know, they want to partner up. They may have actually been married to that person or they were just in a some sort of committed relationship. They still could be in it. They're still probably breaking free. I feel they'll tell you the truth. They have your best interests at heart. So I feel it's kind of an energy of holding back a bit, kind of protecting you. If you go to a party or celebration, that person could be there. So if you're thinking of approaching someone, like I say, that energy's here uh, of that Queen of Wands. And if you're thinking of approaching someone or chasing after them, see, they got someone chasing them. So this is why I feel like they may show up there. Watch who you approach and what you say publicly. <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on some of it. Like that, you know, it's just there's just a little bit of a mystery going on here. But they will tell you the truth, okay? So, and you definitely trust your intuition, Capricorn. Now, I don't know if it's yourself you're crazy about someone. Maybe it is you with the Queen of Wands. You're just going after it because you don't want to wait. That energy's still here. So, that's how you look at this. The energy's here, but everybody's a little different. There it is. Someone, definitely it's about choosing the one, choosing the right person. Now, there's definitely a physical attraction, Somebody who's very passionate. So if you are thinking of approaching them, just remember, don't come on too strong. Don't do that chasing. I, and it's funny, I talked about that. And there it is. Don't chase them. <laughs> they like to do the chasing. They like to be the one, I feel. But yeah, it does look, some of you, they may have even ended something with that person, with that energy. So... Yeah, so we have some looking out for you, know, looking out for yourself here, uh, taking care of yourself, kind of keeping things to yourself a little bit. Just trust your intuition. You're, it's going to guide you through this, I feel. If you take a pause and just uh, take a deep breath, because it looks like you're going to be someplace and there's other people, okay? It, it's a positive place. It's a party, a celebration, a get-together, maybe in your neighborhood or could be another community. It's possible you have to go to another community. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Whoops. There we go. Yeah. So it's playing it safe, being a little cautious. Okay. Keeping a few things to yourself. Don't be too aggressive if it is you in that queen of wands. Okay. Kind of going after this person. I, I actually feel they're very, uh, you're very physically attracted if that is the case. More than likely vice versa, but they like to make the move, um, especially when it comes to um, taking it to the next level, That the physical, they like to be the one. They're fickle, guaranteed, okay? <laughs> so don't make that kind of move. Just letting you know what I see here. Okay, yeah, they're going to offer it to you when they're ready. This is somebody, they, they have to do it when they're ready. Um, and a person does have that right to, you know, the right to kind of prepare themselves. It's like, and if this is something that has happened, and it is someone coming back around, they weren't ready. Okay, they're ready now. They're more confident. So there we have the emotional fulfillment. It has to do with someone putting themselves out there. Two people putting all the cups on the table. They're going to offer you something after that. So this is... This is somebody definitely old school rules. Definitely. If you have a choice between two, you may have someone who is and who isn't too. For those of you who flip that. So there it is. You're, what you've been waiting for is coming. If you could be patient and wait a little, it's coming. But others of you, while you're waiting. Okay, I can see some of you. While you're waiting, this is where this opportunity comes in. So the waiting is over, okay, at some point here. So really nice. So definitely old school rules. Somebody probably a little macho. Uh, they're probably used to being chased. They're really attractive. But I feel 
This is, it's almost like, they. it's not like they get super uncomfortable. They just like to be the one to do that. They like to do things in a traditional manner. Maybe it's how they were raised, you know? It's something quite, feels quite charming, you know? They're quite charming. But yeah, definitely a little bit of a runner. If they get chased, they run like, um, oh. But there it is, yeah, cycle ending. I don't think you're going to be single much longer. I feel things are going in your favor. This is the abundance flowing with the Empress. It all has to do with the timing too, right? Uh, the timing of things. So I wish you guys the very best here. I'm going to pull out a couple outcome cards. So there's a little advice there. And I'm telling you, it's not something I normally... Let's see, this is just coming out of the cards here, you know. Just... Let them be the chaser. They like, they, and it's not like chasing. It's old school rules. They are the one that starts it. They're likely going to strike up a conversation. And then if you go for it and come on a little strong, they will freak out. Well, they won't freak. I actually don't think they're going to freak. Not seeing anything saying that. Uh, it's more like they just kind of back off. So, yeah, whale song, resonating. See, this person's definitely somebody who's you know, very emotional, but they're mature. They, they're in control. They're not ruled by their emotions. Yeah, so this person, this may be something that's happened. Okay. So this is some rest of renewal. There's love here. There's the Garden of Venus. So this is, could definitely be someone coming back around, taking another look here, and now seeing things from your perspective. Maybe they were being a little shy or, you know, because it looks like there was a conversation that happened, but yet it didn't go anywhere. So then you kind of maybe, you know, decided to take the lead and step up your game. Because if you have Aries Leo Sag in your chart, and this is something that happened, they will come back. They will come back. They'll come back in uh, more confident. Okay. So this is likely what happens. So it's saying to t look at from their perspective. Yeah. See, choices have their consequences. See? But, um, yeah. Well, we know the Queen of Wands can be a little aggressive. We know the Queen, Queen of Wands is, you know, fairly sexual. So... You know, like I say, they might be a little freaked out here. <laughs> Maybe you were obsessed with this person, a little crazy with them. But honestly, some of them, I do see them walking away from someone with that energy. You see? Because they may have dealt with that before. So it has to do with coming in right, saying all the right things. It's like they want to do it. They want to do things the right way. This is crazy. Right, Capricorn? There you go. So somebody with old school rules. They could be a Gemini, a Libra, or a Gemini Taurus cusp. Um, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart. Okay. If you have Sag, Aries, or Leo, or Libra in your chart, <laughs> you could definitely, you could be the Queen of Wands here. Yeah, the Queen of Wands goes after what they want, you know. So, yeah, there you go. Take care. Wish you guys the best. I, I feel this is going to be fine, but the choices that you make when you meet this person will have consequences. But I feel the consequences are actually something to do with this person because they didn't take enough. and They didn't come on strong enough, you see. They didn't take the initiative. They were shy, um, you know. So take care, and we'll see you soon.